Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Yummy. I mean, you know, sort of to give you an idea, I mean, is there, apart from the farm server, is there anything else that you could look at? Yeah, okay. I mean, to give you an idea, say for instance, you want the new Black Ops to go with it. I can probably go with the new Black Ops for about 2.30. You see what I mean? So, you know. Yeah, but that's what Dad's are for, isn't it? Buy it for. Cheers. Bye. Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975. Yeah, pickups in the wild. Uh, I start every pickups video with this line. Really didn't uh, intend on going anywhere today. Wanted to have a nice lazy Saturday, watch the football. Um, but then, I don't know why, but for some reason it always triggers me to do this. Uh, we have no internet. You know, we have at least a weekly occurrence of the internet dropping. It dropped last night. As of now, I haven't checked it. It's um. It's offline. Uh, oh, good news though. I found my phone. Never mind. So I thought bollocks to this. Uh, I need to kill the time up to the football. Um, so, which I'm currently watching now because this is pre recorded. So I'm coming to you from the past. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so for bollocks to it, I'm going to go shopping. So I went to Kainsham. Those of you who've watched me for a while will know that there's an absolutely fantastic store in Kainsham called. 
I never remember his bloody name. I definitely recommend it to you if you're in that area. Called Game Scene UK because they're one of the few places in the high street that actually caro pro, caro caro. I just invented a new word. That's my word. Don't nick it. Um, carry proper you know retro systems. That's quite, to me at least in my neck of was that's rare for a high street store. Also, there's a shitload of charity shops around there. Um, there might be a little bit of footage of it before this. Uh, if there isn't, then that's because it didn't come out because I haven't even checked it on my computer. It's still on my phone. Something really paranoid now, because everyone knows what people are filming. It's like walking around like this. I want to do it like this, because then it looks like you're just holding it, but you get a better picture like that. Never mind. Um, so most of this stuff actually came from that, that shop. I got a couple of things from charity shops. So they weren't games, but never mind. Um, quite a nice little haul. Are the prices good? Are they bad? I honestly don't know, and don't give two shits, because the bottom line is, as I always say, I should get this on a fucking t-shirt, shouldn't I? Um, if you're happy to pay that price, then it's a good price. <clears throat> so where should I start? Uh, actually, I'm going to start with the um, the charity shops. Right, this is, uh, this is quite cool, actually. Dorothy... No, Dorothy Perkins is a tr is it a chain store? Dorothy something. It's a charity shop with a purple banner. I bought in there. Doesn't say on the back. Oh, Dorothy House. Bought in there for two pounds. Absolute bloody eighties classic. Look how manly the cover is. Iron Eagle. Who remembers Iron Eagle? Obviously capitalising on the whole Top Gun thing, but basically, I don't know, I, don't know, I can't remember. Doesn't it? Dad get captured? So um, Lewis uh, Gossett Jr. trains him to fly a plane. I love the 80s. Practicality just doesn't exist. Um, epic, epic beings. That might be shit, I don't know. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but I thought, I'm having that. Uh, now, here's a 90s classic. Uh, this was a pound, and it was also from, I don't know, there's no label. I'm pretty sure it's from the same store. Uh, this, to, my, to me, at least, uh, is still my favourite representation or interpretation of the X-Men in cartoon form. So, if you know my age, I've just given it away. And, right, this, this season two, volume one, so it's the first eight episodes of the 90s, X-Men, which is my favourite simply because it was so bloody close to the comic, uh, as close as it could be in a, you know, overly kids TV show, and um, did all the big epic, epic story arcs. Now, the final DVD I picked up, uh, oh, it's two discs. I have no idea where I picked it up, uh, but it cost me a pound. Was this the, I think this might be the British Heart Foundation, was a um, special edition of Event Horizon. Spoiler! Love the bit when his eyes explode. Um, sorry. Uh, haunted House movie in space. I adored this. I haven't had it on DVD. I had it on VHS. Uh, and um, I have seen this. I borrowed it off a of mate. And I absolutely love this movie. It's an absolutely bloody classic. If you haven't seen this, you really need to sort your life out. It's got so many great bits. It's so tense. Great special effects. You know, and I love the whole concept of haunted houses in space. You know, kind of like, well, you could argue that Alien is almost a slasher movie in space and so not a haunted house. But you know what I mean. But they tell you what the real... I'm not going to tell you but they tell you what the real ending is and you only get to see it in storyboard form you don't get to see any deleted scenes although as far as i can tell there are deleted scenes because it's two discs it's actually especially for a quid eh? um and they explain what the other will show you the other dimension that'll make sense if you've seen it if you haven't seen it sort your life out now to the goodness that was smallest receipt ever game scene why can't i remember it um, they got everything in there. Uh, case is a bit banged up. It's a fighting game. I can really remember this back in the day, but it's an X-Men fighting game. And obviously it's not like Marvel vs. Capcom or any of those. Um, although I had Street Fighter vs. X-Men back in the day. And it was alright, but pants compared to the Saturn version, obviously. Um, X-Men Mutant Academy 2 on the PlayStation. Looks like a kind of cool... Is it rendered? Rendered? Pre-rendered fighting game? No idea, but... It's a fighting game. It's really, really banged up. But then, why didn't we do the slim cases like they did everywhere else? Because these ones, they're not quite as bad as some of the satin cases, but they're just basically made to blow up. Anyway, yeah, so if it's shit, don't tell me. I want to find out for myself. I just fancied a fighting game and it looked right on the back. And I, they didn't have Street Fighter versus X-Men, so. Uh, what next? What next? Oh, we'll come up to something new. Uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist on the Wii U. Part of the the, uh, the reason I bought this is mainly because it's just it's so nice to come across a decent selection of Wii U games in the high street. Granted, this is second hand. It was a tenner. Uh, I've heard, hear, huh? I hear good things about it. Um, 
If it's shit, don't tell me. I want to find out for myself. But I watched a couple of gameplays and it looked quite interesting. And I quite like Splinter Cell. Presumably, yeah, you got you can't see it. It ta actually takes advantage of the Wii U pad. Operate your tri rotor and other high tech gadgets with your Wii U gamepad. Peace with Vice, Ubisoft. Is it Ubisoft? Yes. Don't put dark green text on a black background. Just saying. So, is that a good? I don't know. It's a tenner. I'm particularly, you know, chuffed with it. Ooh, ooh, two basketball games. Because I haven't got a basketball game, I don't think. I have, you know, a 16-bit Mega Drive and stuff like that, but I don't actually have anything after that period. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. Um, NBA Live 06 on the Nintendo GameCube. If it's, is it an EA game? Uh, I don't honestly know. I can't, yeah, it is, it's EA Sports. So basically, if it's anything like their hockey and FIFA and stuff like that, uh, it might not be mind-blowing, but it'll be a really decent, solid game of basketball. My least favourite of all the North American sports. Don't know why you need to know that, but I just thought I'd tell you. Yeah, 4 99 good, bad. <laughs> I'm the guy with the gun. Sorry. Points for the quote. Right, what next? Uh, oh yeah, the basketball game. Just because I simply can't see that you can make a good basketball game on this system. So, so if anything, hopefully it's not, but if anything, I've actually gone out my way to see if I can prove a point by wasting money on something that hopefully is shit. Does that make sense? No, I hope it is good, but uh, NBA Jam 99. Uh, this was four ninety nine. Boxes banged up, but then, as you know, Nintendo. Why? Seriously, why? Back then, what was the deal with cardboard? Biodegradable? Were you ahead of the curve when it came to all this green tree hugging crap? Um, acclaimed sports. Are they just using the uh, NBA Jam title uh, to flog it? Because you know it's acclaimed. Uh, Keith Van Horn. Does that mean if you hug him, you've got the horn? Sorry. Uh, yeah, just use the name because this is obviously a three D one. If it's fast and arcadey like that remains to be seen. Right, three more. Uh, I'm really chuffed to have this because I didn't know it existed. Uh, and as you know, I'm a big 2000 AD fan, big, big, big Judge Dredd fan. Just gave it away. Don't know if it's backward compatible. If it's not, please let me find out myself and don't spoil it with leaving something down below. Uh, Judge Dredd, Dredd vs. Death. Yeah, I love fucking Judge Dredd. Do you know, Judge Dredd runs in real time, so in the comics now, he's actually in his 70s, which may sound really, you know, far-fetched, but remember how far it is in the future, how long he would live there, and how many fucking regens he's had, and how fit he would be. Anyway, yeah, first-person shooter, I guess the ultimate boss is Judge Death. The super feed love me some Judge Death, simply because the uh, sorry their, their observation was great. The, the dark judges worked out that all crime is committed by the living. Therefore, why don't you make being alive a crime? And you've got instant results. Yeah. So yeah, I, I've not played it and I've not heard anything about it, so I have no idea. All I know is it's Judge Dread. It's a first-person shooter, which is the only way to go for Dread. And this was. Where's the receipt? It doesn't say how much it was. It's on the original Xbox. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't actually. It just says new item, new item, used item, used item. Well, no, none of them are new. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, it can either be your choices from above. Two ninety nine. No, it's not that. Nine ninety nine. It's not two ninety nine. Uh, it looks like it was one ninety nine by you know series of elimination. Word. I never thought I'd hear in a pickup video elimination. <clears throat> I just bit my tongue. Fuck. Uh, Master System game. Uh, Super Monaco GP. Just because I do like my Master System. I do like, you know, to pick up titles for it from time to time. Uh, really nice condition. It's got instructions as well. It was £2. Obviously, they haven't attempted to do the arcade machine, and you don't blame them. Uh, although, actually, they did attempt a lot of ambitious arcade conversions, so maybe they should have. Uh, but yeah, two quid, and I just fancied it. Go on it, because I've played all the other versions, you know, arcade, Mega Drive Spectrum, uh, Commodore, and all those things. So I thought, let's see what it looks like on the um, Master System, although I just contradicted myself because it's nothing like the other versions. It's got a split screen, though. Shame I've only got one. No, I've got an arcade stick. All right, if anyone wants to play me at this, I get the arcade stick, and you can have the pad. Right, so courses, 16. And finally, I got confused with this. I've got a gameplay of this, I think, somewhere. Um, but that was on an EverDrive for my Mega Drive. Uh, Micro Machines Turbo Tournament 2, 96% official Sega Magazine, released by Codemasters. Um, this was 6 99 I don't know. I can imagine that it might be a reasonably sought after title. It's complete. I thought it was the one that had the double doohickey joypad thingies in there. 
that was the greatest descriptive term ever. Um, but it wasn't. It is a wicked shaped cartridge, though. But you know, all the micro machine games are absolutely fucking fantastic. As a two player share option, I don't know if that's going to show up when you both play on the same pad. How on earth would that even work? I don't know. But anyway, you can expect gameplays of all of these to the point of whether they work or not, and why that I mean backward compatibility. So all in all, you know, not a little bad shopping trip. I just hope to bloody god that by the time I've edited this, the internet's back up. P.S. Fuck <coughs> you, British Telecom, you're shit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.